Mary Derby doctor jailed for sex offenses and faces deportation Dr. Jamil Rahman told a pack of lies. A Derby doctor has been jailed for his attempts to have sex with underage teen girls. Branded arrogant and hypocritical by a judge. Dr. Jamil Rahman lied repeatedly about a four-hour journey he took with the intention of meeting an underage girl for sex. The married father of two will be in prison for the birth of his third child and is likely to be deported to Pakistan on his release. Read more. Young Derby pervert to be rehabilitated The trainee GP was found guilty in August of two counts of attempted sexual grooming of underage girls after traveling from Derby to West Wales to meet a 15-year-old girl called Kayla in 2019. When he arrived he was met by self-styled pedophile hunters with red roses and pills designed to delay orgasm found in the boot of his car. Police also found further messages between the 35-year-old and a 13-year-old girl named Sienna who is also a decoy. Ramon of Gelling Close, little over, Derby, claimed that he had no desire to engage in sexual activity and wanted Kayla to be his tour guide on his first visit to Wales. But his defense was labeled as frankly laughable and ludicrous by Judge Paul Thomas QC at Swansea Crown Court. After Ramon tried to tell the jury that he had mistaken the words hotel and restaurant despite booking a room with a double bed, the judge said, you came to West Wales from the Derby area where you were practicing as a doctor. You came down here which, on my calculation, is a four-hour journey for one purpose and that purpose was to have full sexual intercourse with a 15-year-old girl. Your intentions were to have sexual intercourse with her. He claimed in the course of the trial to be concerned for the welfare of vulnerable girls. You did believe them to be vulnerable, which is why you targeted and attempted to groom them. As a man who was training to be a general practitioner, you would have known full well the potential impact of what you attempted to do. You were a married man. You simply wanted to use these underage girls for sexual purposes. You did lie about your age online and you did so deliberately. Ramon was sentenced to 20 months in prison and placed on the sex offenders register for 10 years. With the details of a sexual harm prevention order to be set, he met who he thought were the underage girls in a chat room called Meet For You before having private conversations on WhatsApp. He then traveled from Derby to Camarthen, a journey of around 220 miles. Eugene Egan, defending, told the court that Rahman, who is expecting a third child in December, was in the UK on a work visa and thus will likely have to return to his native Pakistan upon his release. However, he acknowledged that his client had fabricated much of his defense in his trial. He said what he told the jury was concocted in a pack of lies. Perhaps for the first time now, on the day of sentencing, there's a genuine acknowledgement of what he has done. He has thrown away his career. The consequences for him will be harsh and substantial. He has thrown all that away through gross stupidity on his behalf. Tracy Harrison, chief executive of Safe and Sound, a Derbyshire charity which supports young people who are victims of child exploitation including online grooming as well as their families had previously voiced concern over the case. She said, This is a deeply disturbing case and highlights the increased dangers facing young people of online grooming. This particular case thankfully did not put a young person in danger but for every instance that a perpetrator is trapped in a sting operation. There are countless others who fall victim to online predators. I would appeal to all young people and families to check privacy settings on their online accounts and to visit our website www.safeandsoundgroup.org.uk for further information and advice. More information on this new story can be found in the description box below. Thank you for your continued support to Freedom Fire.